Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install shaders in Minecraft 1.19. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one. And so there are multiple ways to install shaders in Minecraft. I'll just show you how I do it. And so currently I am in Minecraft 1.19. And of course, as you can see, we have some beautiful shaders installed. Yes, that is very funky. I don't know if anyone actually wants to see this, but there we go. And so the way I use shaders in Minecraft is by using Optifine. So if you don't currently have Optifine installed and you don't know how to do that, I've also made a video on how to download Optifine from Microphone.19. A link to that video is in the top right of your screen. But once you've downloaded Optifine, then we can go on with this video to show you how to install some shaders, which will make your world look a whole lot better. And so the first thing that you will need to do is, of course, download a shader pack. So let's try to find one and do that right now. And so there are many different shaders out there. I'll leave a link to this website where you can find the silver shaders also be careful that you don't download any virus or anything but i would recommend going to the official sites of the shaders instead of going to a collection site where they have all the different types of shaders and so here if we wanted to download these shaders we can go down here over to the downloads and we can download any of the different types of the shaders so if you don't have a great pc i would just suggest downloading the light version and it will already look quite good you can also go with uh, more extreme versions of the shaders, of course, but let's just go for the light version. We'll get an ad, which we can skip after around five seconds. There we go. Press skip. We can accept the privacy notice and then we can click download up here. So we'll see that this is only for 1.80.1, but this will also work for 1.19. That is not too big of an issue. Then afterwards, it'll start to download. And if you're using Chrome, it should show up down here. So... We can open our file explorer and find this file in our downloads. All right, there it is. So let's just keep in mind that it is here. Now we should go back into Minecraft and make sure you're actually loading up Minecraft that has Optifine installed. So the right installation. And then what we want to do is go over to options, video settings and shaders. So this will only be here if you have Optifine installed. There's also other ways you can download shaders, but Optifine just works the best for me. So you can click on shaders. Now just ignore these four because these are just shaders I had installed previously already. So what we need to do is go down here and go over to the shaders folder. We can click that and this will open up the folder in our file explorer. So this is what it opens up. The shader packs file is under .minecraft. You can also just go through this yourself and paste in the file or you can just use the button I just showed you. So here we can see all my previous shaders that I have installed here. And so now all you need to do is go back to your downloads, get the new file, so that's this one, which is version 1.32, copy it, or whatever version it is for you. Go back to the shader packs file and we can paste in our new shaders. So you can just leave it as a zip file like this, zip archive. We don't have to open it or do anything with it like that. And so we can see that this is a newer version than the previous ones I had in here. It's also quite a lot bigger. And so now we can just go back into Minecraft. And if everything has worked correctly, we'll immediately see the new shaders show up right here. So this is our new Silders Vibrant Shaders. Indeed, the same version, 1.3.2. And we can also see the old version still down here. And then what's also nice is using Optifine, you can already change some of the settings here. So we can hover over them to see what these different settings are and you can tweak these if the shaders are too laggy. I would suggest, for example, reducing the render quality, which makes it a lot faster. And for example, reducing the shadow quality. These do have a huge effect on your performance. So if the shader makes your game way too laggy, you can reduce those by just clicking on them and it will cycle through. So you can click on render quality. You can see it cycles through all of these values and just choose one that works for you and uh, makes your game not too laggy. You can also go to specific shader options and change all of these stuff in here. Let's just see what these shaders now look like. Since the shaders I had at the start of the video were actually six years old, those were actually exactly the same shaders, but just from six years ago. So I'm interested to see if there have been any major improvements or not, if it looks better. Here we go, loading up into the same world and look at this. Wow. Yeah, Minecraft shaders have come a long way. Look at this. This is beautiful. Actually, a small thing I noticed that, okay, there's still some glitchiness going on with the lighting, which I think pretty much always happens here. In the previous version, this tall grass actually didn't move, but here it does because apparently the tall grass wasn't that used six years ago. I don't know. 
sun looks beautiful. The water, the water looks a lot better than in the old version. Look at that. There's now waves and stuff like that. That's beautiful. Let's go underwater. Do I look weird again? No, look at that. They fixed the weird distortion going on with me underwater. <laughs> this is way better, way better. And of course, if you're still encountering some lag or anything like that, you can also change your graphics to fancy, fast or whatever. There's also just lots of customization in Optifine itself, which you can use to increase the performance of your game. Let's increase this a little bit. Oh, look at that. Like there's definitely still some light glitches going on with some of these shaders, but if everything works, then it also just looks incredible. Like <laughs> this is Minecraft, that's beautiful. And if you also run into issues just like this one, you could also just go over to video settings, shaders, shader options, shadows, and just turn off shadows. There we go. Now we won't have those weird flashing lights all over the place. But anyway, there we go. That is how to install shaders in Minecraft 1.19. If you have any more questions, you can ask them in the comments down below and I'll try to help you out. But there we go. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. I want to thank my tier 3 member, the Smikalar. Thank you for becoming a tier 3 member. But there we go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all in the next one. So until then, bye bye.